all right everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce makes sense this is our apex developer master class and in this video we'll continue understanding and practicing with some apex practice questions for this particular use case we will we'll understand how to create a certification tracker right so what we want to do is we want to create two different methods one method will allow you to store your new certifications along with the issue date and the other method will show you the total numbers of certifications that you hold right so we'll start with the first one that lets you insert some certification data along with your issue date so if i go to salesforce let's go ahead and create a new apex class and we'll call this certification tracker what do we need here as input we would need two two things the name of the certificate and the issue date correct so i'll just go ahead and create a class for myself public static void add new certifications so for those of you who are continuing understanding this apex curriculum through the start of the playlist i hope this speed is fine for you and if you are someone who's just seen this video for the very first time directly if you have landed here i'll recommend you you take the take a look at the entire apex masterclass series starting from video one of this playlist right all right so this is the name of our method which is add new certifications and i need two things to be input as method parameters first thing would be the name of the certificate so i'll call it certificate name right and the second thing would be a date which would be issue date right these are the two things i need and what i want to be able to do is i want to store my certifications right so i'll create a variable public static and what kind of variable should this be? I have two information to store. So I need a key value pair, right? So the key would be the name of the certificate and the issue date would be the value. All right, we can, we can store it like this. So I'll just say map of string comma date, my certification data equals, I'll instantiate it and I'll say save. Let's try to save it first of all and see if this error goes away from here. Yes, this has gone away. And what I what I can do now is I can use this particular variable and I can simply put whatever has been provided. So the key would be the certificate name and the issue date would be the date, which would be the value. That's it. All right. You don't need to return anything from this method. However, we want to create another method that shows the total number of certifications that you hold. So I need to create another method that is public static and I want to return an integer. Why? I want to show the count of the number of certificates that you hold. Right. So public static integer return cert count. All right. And what I'll do is I don't need any variables here. What I can simply do is how can I return the count? I can call my map and I can just check the number of keys it has or I can do the size method, right? What I'll do is I'll not do a debug. I'll simply say return. Save. Let's try to save it and let's see what happens. So we have saved up fine. Very straightforward, very simple, very easy to do, right? Now let's go ahead and try to test it. So what I'll do is I'll execute my apex class i'll get rid of everything else i'll say certification tracker dot first of all i'd want to add new certifications right so i'll just say add new certifications my certification name is let's say platform developer 2 right and what would be my issue date let's say it's today so what can i use i can just say system dot today all right so this is my first certification that i've added let's add another one so I'll just say platform developer one, right? And let's say this was done 60 days before. So I'll say system.today minus 60. Okay. Another certification, let's say experience cloud consultant, right? I did this probably three years back. So I'll just say maybe 720, right? Two years back. I did something, let's say three years back. I, I'm not putting the right numbers, exact, exact numbers, but I'm just putting random dates, right? The fourth one would be, let's put sharing and visibility architect. 
yeah so i've added four certifications through my add new certification method what this will do is this will store this certificates to my certificate data correct and finally when i want to return the total cert count i can say certification tracker dot return cert count this will give me the total number of certifications that i hold okay so i'll simply say system dot debug i let's see what does i return i'll go ahead and run this entire code and i'll say execute highlighted it's run successfully let's take a look at the log debug only so it says four perfect if you want to take a look at what what certifications have you done what can you do you can simply call the key set right and then the return would be a list of string why because the key set would return you all the strings which is part of your keys so it would be a list of strings correct if you want to see all the dates when you actually did the exams so you can put values so then this will become a list of date make sense so if i were to now execute it i will not be able to assign it to integer this would be a list of date dates of attempt right and let's try to print it out you'll get four dates showing up for each day that you have set here right i've used system dot today just for this for showing this use case execute so if you notice you see 4 6 2024 5 4 15 6 2022 and this is back in 2021 right so it is automatically calculated based on whatever i subtracted from today's date right well, if you want to you know create a new instance of date how can you do that you can say date dot new instance and you can use year month and day so i'll say so even you can do that so this will create a new date with fifth month fifth date and 2024 would be the year okay if you want to play around with date class what you can do is you can go to date class salesforce it will open up the apex reference guide and you can see all the methods available under date so let's say you want to convert you want to add days add months you want to convert your days date information to string or string to date you want to do a new format you want to check whether it is leap year or not you want to create a new instance by putting the year month and day information separately you want to check today's today's date you want to get specifically the year so all of these methods are available okay so you can explore some of the methods here always good to explore any class that you start using right for example we used the date class here why am i saying the date class because you can say date dot and you can call methods so date date is essentially a class okay similar to how system is a class all right so you can use date methods and you can try to play around with it Okay, this was very straightforward. No, hopefully no problems. I'll see you in the next use case. Bye.